Here's what I've been looking forward to doing. 1966 Plymouth Belvedere Pursuit car. And yes, check that out in a two-door sedan. And this is a legitimate pursuit car. Does have the 383 Commando underneath the hood, which would have been an optional engine. Actually puts out 330 horsepower, 425 pound-feet of torque. A few of the telltale signs. This was originally a pursuit car. Would be the 60 amp alternator. You're also going to have a certified speedo in there. I'll show you that when we get around to it. We look at the interior. This car actually had factory AC. The AC has been removed, had power steering added. That's why the AC was removed. The components uh, are still in a basket in a box. I'll kind of show you when we get around to the back side of this car. Um, paint on it does show nicely, but you can tell it's a little older paint. I mean, you're going to have a few spots. We've had a little touch up along the lines. Um, but overall, it shows very nice. Take a look. Front grille, bumper, headlight surrounds. Also very presentable. Now, if you want to check out the still picture, so you can see the underside of this. Um, check out the interior, engine bay. Still pictures can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. is going to take you right there. And remember, you know, always give us a call at 507-386-1726. 15-inch wheels would have also been an optional item on the pursuit car. Let's take a look down the passenger side. Kind of crazy these days to think of a two-door sedan being a patrol car. This would be stock color interior, tan, bucket seats up front, rubber flooring. Flooring looks original to it. That's what that protector in there as far as getting in and out of it. Now remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you come in, or when you call in or email. Dual exhaust actually would have been standard coming out of the 383 Commando engine. Now, as far as the engine, you can come up with error correct. You cannot prove that its numbers are original, but it is an error correct 383 underneath the hood. As far as some of the extra components from that 8C that was removed are here. And again, we'll go in the trunk with the car. 727 torque flight. Would have been a heavy duty transmission in the cop cars. Lights and stuff work on this one. We're going to get in there, hit some switches, start it up, and have a little fun. Again, still pictures. You can see the interior underside. Engine bay, trunk. Still pictures. UniqueClassicCars.com. Click on the link. Down below this video in the description is going to take you right there. You'll see some trunk picks, and you're going to see a old style radar detector in there. Still has the Lewis Motorola CB underneath the dash. Good old Citizen Band radio. Up and down the driver's side. How fun would this be to take to your cruise ins and roll ins, car shows? This was actually commissioned in Kansas great state of Kansas and it has some uh, magnetic decals that'll go on the side of it too if you want to put the state patrol and the badge on and you'll see that in the still pictures too so check that out in the still pictures all right let's slip this out of here so you get a look at the flooring door panels vinyl seats here's the vinyl has been redone a little, little newer than 66 but the flooring wouldn't be surprised if the flooring is original there's some spots where it shows its age back here and in the rear kind of leads me to believe it being original all right and this car does decode as a 383 by the way so that would have been the engine size that would have came with check this out on the speedometer certified you can read that right above the odometer check out that Motorola CB and again would have been factory AC car All right, and there's a picture of the data tag if you'd like to decode it Sixty amp alternator check that out 
would have been for idling a lot, so it would still charge. All right, let's go ahead, slip around to the back of this. Got a good look at what kind of condition the interior in dash, nice shape, headliner, rear seat where the bad guys sit. Slip around to the back, nice little rumble, just what a subtle sounding car. All right, let's slip up to the front. I want to pop this hood, check out the engine bay, and then uh, we're going to light up some of these lights and sirens and see what that does. All right, hood open. Another one I thought of walking up here and looking down once the hood was open. Seven blade fan. So what's on this one? That would have been an option on the Pursuit car. There it is, 383. Commando engine, and you can see newer power steering pump right there. Uh, that was installed, and again, that's why the AC was removed. Wanted to have power steering on it. Make it a little nicer to drive the shows, cruise-ins and roll-ins. But yeah, it looks like a pretty authentic looking engine bay. The way it would have been produced back in 1966. And all right, hey, how about a little fun here? Let's hit some of these switches on the inside, see what this does. Of course, the switches down here. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Sixty-six Plymouth Belvedere Pursuit Car, 383 underneath the hood, 727 Torque Flight. Give us a call, 507-386-1726, uniqueclassiccars.com. Click a link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with the transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call or email.